Part 1. Activate your test. Before taking your sample, be sure to activate your test online at homedic.com activate. To activate your test, you must enter the 12-digit activation code and the 8-digit security code on Homedic's website. These codes can be found on your personal activation card. Alternatively, scan the QR code on the activation card to load the test codes into the Homedic activation portal. Keep your personal activation card until you have received your test results, or take a photo of it. If you have not activated your test kit, the laboratory cannot process your sample. Part 2A. Prepare to take your urine sample. If possible, use the first urine of the day for your test sample. If you are unable to use the first urine of the day, wait at least one hour before collecting your sample. In your test package, you will find a pipette, urine collection cup, collection tube, tube holder, and a protective pouch. Before you begin, wash your hands with warm water for 30 seconds and dry them thoroughly. Twist to remove the cap from the collection tube. Place the collection tube in the provided tube holder. Make sure that no liquid spills out of the collection tube. Open the urine collection cup by squeezing the opposite corners. The cup has a plastic liner. Take care not to tear or puncture the liner. Part 2B. Collect your sample. Catch only the first part of your urine stream with the collection cup. Do not fill the cup more than half full. Finish urinating in the toilet. Use the pipette to transfer urine from the collection cup into the collection tube. Fill the tube between the two black lines on the side of the tube. Do not fill the tube above or below the marked lines, or your sample cannot be processed. Never remove urine from the collection tube, as this could affect the test results. Close the collection tube tightly with the cap. Place the collection tube in the provided protective pouch and seal it using the plastic adhesive edge. Part 2C. Prepare to take your blood sample. In your test package, you will also find a blood collection card, lancets, band-aids, alcohol wipes, a gauze pad, and a resealable bag. To help ensure a successful sample, drink plenty of water 30 minutes beforehand. Wash your hands with warm water for 30 seconds and dry them well. Hold your hands against a cup of warm water for two minutes to stimulate blood circulation. Then, swing your arms at your sides eight to ten times. The best location for blood collection is the middle or ring fingers, near the fingertip and slightly to the side. Use the included alcohol wipe to disinfect the finger and let it air dry. For other blood collection tips, please refer to our website. Then, twist the cap of the lancet to remove it. The lancet is now ready for use. Part 2D. Collect your sample. Place the lancet against your disinfected finger. Press down firmly on the lancet until you hear a click. If you are having trouble, ask someone else to help. Wipe off the first drop of blood that appears with the included gauze pad. Stand up and keep your hand below your waist to increase blood flow. Gently massage your finger from the palm towards the fingertip. Hold your finger above the blood collection card and let the blood drops fall into the marked circles. If needed, you can gently bring the blood droplet into contact with the collection card without touching the card with your finger. Avoid applying too much pressure to your fingertip or pressing your finger against the blood collection card, as this can damage the blood cells and cause the sample to become unusable. Completely fill all five circles on the blood collection card up to the edges. At least two-thirds of each circle must be filled, as this is the minimum amount of blood the laboratory needs to analyze the test sample. If you could not collect enough blood from the first finger prick, use the additional lancets to prick another finger. Use one of the band-aids to cover the site of the finger prick. Place the blood collection card in a dry area, away from direct sunlight, and allow it to dry for three to four hours. Important, do not place the blood collection card on a radiator or other heat source. Place the blood collection card in the provided resealable bag and close it. Part 3. Return your sample to the laboratory. Place the resealable bag with the blood collection card and the protective pouch with the urine sample inside the return envelope and seal it with the adhesive strip. 
place the envelope in a regular mailbox to return it to the laboratory. The envelope has a prepaid return label printed on it. If the outside temperature is below 3 degrees Celsius or above 25 degrees Celsius, we request that you drop off the package at a post office. Do not send the sample with track and trace. Once the lab has received your test sample, they will process it. Your test results will be reviewed by a laboratory specialist. We will contact you immediately once your test results are ready. Homedic, the easiest way to track your health.